Hello everyone, this will be the review of game Brick Breaker Premium and the key was provided by developer. And guys, uh, this is just a very, very badly done Arkanoid uh, with annoying sound and music. I'm gonna just show you a little bit of gameplay with the, I guess, with the sound because there is, I guess, no regulation. Uh, the problem with this game, aside from that it looks badly and there is just nothing there aside from, you know, a couple of typical upgrades like you have more than one ball at the same time um, it just looks really bad uh, the problem is that the, the paddle doesn't work well the paddle wo works uh, instead of moving smoothly it works like by certain uh, distance every time so we can easily go past the ball it should be smooth it's not so maybe I will be able to comment uh, while playing but uh, the game has a lot of annoying music, uh, especially in many and very uh, loud uh, sounds in the gameplay, so you might have problems with hearing me, but I will do my best. Alright, let's go get back to game. What am I supposed to press? Spacebar? Escape? Escape. Okay. Oh my god, this is loud. See? It goes always. I'm only pressing D once, and it goes by one point, like by one step. But those are not steps, it's not exactly a step. It's like, see, almost past the ball, almost past the ball, again, left, 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 and it's like, see, it's, sometimes the ball is going such a, see, it, it went past, the, oh my god, this is loud, it went past the, the pedal, and that's the annoying music, super bad. Again, look, I go right. I want to go in between the moves, right? Because the ball doesn't always go. See, it was almost uh, about to be missed by my pedal, but I cannot go in between of the steps. It's it's very strange. It goes like one, two, three, four. Yeah, but the angle of the ball can be anything, right? The, depending how it works, how you hit it. My God, this is loud. Uh, so you can easy go past it. Even, see again, I wanted to go a little bit left, not all the way left. So this is completely game breaking. My God! Right. Maybe I'll try to progress a bit. Maybe we can get some sort of upgrade. Probably not. I know what happens with, uh, if, if you break it. Something happens. I guess maybe every color does something. If you catch it. Yeah, again, went past it. And I don't know why it sounds as it's bad. It's annoying. Uh, when I die, we'll try to find options, but I know there are none. See, again, almost past it. Then it kind of broke. Yeah, now it's the right angle. And again, barely, barely. Because of how not smooth it is. Again, past it. <sighs> okay, guys, uh, so, uh, wait a minute, yeah, there's no options here, as you can see, right? There's only this about thing, which is, I guess, a web page. Yeah, it's a web page. I want to close it. So, let me just go continue and pause it, right, so I can talk to you. Okay, guys, so, uh, aside from the fact that the game is very badly done in terms of graphics, uh, it's very pixelated and ugly for an Arkanoid. We already played three Ar Arkanoids on this playlist and this is the worst one. This is the fourth one. And it's really bad. Uh, this is completely unacceptable to have uh, a pedal that goes step by step while the ball can uh, be bounced by any angle because this is the, always the same rule. Like there is this mathematical rule that uh, everything bounces at the same angle so if you hit like 45 degrees it's gonna bounce the other 45 degree or something like that the the the, the angle of hit is equal to the uh, angle of rebound or something like this I'm not sure how it goes in English but there's a rule for that so depending how you hit the ball it's gonna always go uh, in some sort of symmetric way the other way if you get what I mean and this can go in between of those steps, however you can sort of try to uh, wiggle your paddle left and right and kind of catch the ball in between the steps, but usually, pretty much in every Arkanoid I ever played, even those three I played on this playlist, 
the paddle was always smooth, uh, either by mouse or by keyboard, and here it's not. So this is game breaking. This is very badly done, very badly programmed, and probably I don't know if this was ever beta tested because this is something you see after a few minutes of playing the game. It's something wrong with the pedal. And uh, yeah, it's not very fun to play unless you like the old Arkanoid and you're just into this, you know, uh, I don't know what kind of feeling you need to have to play like the first games when they were made, like the very first Tetris, the very first Pac-Man, the very first, uh, I don't know, this game about bouncing ball between two pedals, but it was like Pong, and maybe it was, was Pong, I'm not sure. Um, you know, I can take some sort of bad graphics and old games, but there are some standards for me. Like, you know, Dune 1 was okay, it was a very old game. Or Lands of Lore 1 was a very old game. But they were done okay. I'm not really into those arcade uh, super old games that are just repeated now in 2018 for no reason. I see no point of this. And uh, definitely this shouldn't be programmed in such a way that the pedal doesn't work properly. This should work super smooth. And I would prefer if those blocks were done better graphically and maybe some stuff added to it, you know, some additional mechanics and something interesting. Uh, there might be something in the game, but I just cannot push through it. That's, that's just uh, repels me. The gameplay is bad because of the pedal and it's boring, at least for now. Uh, and it's hard to progress, right? You have three lives, you have to be good at those games, uh, you are probably going to go past the ball because of the bad controls, and there's just nothing in this game that tells me to play it. I would give it one out of ten, seriously, because, you know, I would give two or three if it, if it worked properly, even though it's, you know, the, the very first version of Arkanoid, sort of, just with colors maybe. Uh, I'm not that good at history of very old games, so I'm not sure how exactly first Arkanoid looked, but it looks like probably very similar to this one. Uh, so completely not recommended. Uh, this game costs money, and you should definitely spend the money elsewhere. You can have two games with cards for that, and that makes more sense to just have two games with trading cards uh, for the same money. Just sell the cards, you know, and have two more games. At least that, this is nothing really, even if it has cards, doesn't matter. So, uh, 1 out of 10, Brick Breaker Premium, this is more like a warning video. Even if you're into very old Arkanoids, there are better ones already done, so don't play this, play something better. Something, one of those three games I showed you before, or maybe look for others, probably if you uh, input Arkanoid in, in Steam, the, this should be more. Or even maybe on Congregate, you should find better games like this. I'm never into Arkanoids, but, you know, this is just below any standard, and the, and the pedal is kind of broken. So no fun at all, it was very annoying to record. At least it, it works in window, kinda. I think it's, it works in window on default, but it has no options, guys. Uh, no resolution options. Uh, you know, even anti-aliasing would help. If at least you could choose to have the blocks uh, old way or, or the new way, right? I mean, new way. Uh, the first... Um, Voodoo uh, graphic accelerator that was made 25 years ago already had anti-aliasing, right? So that was already done in the last century. And now you have this. You know, even if I look at this this, this font here, post, right? It's pixel. Why? What's the point? And yeah, and, and definitely you should program your pedal better if you want to. If you want to copy an old game like Arkanoid, at least copy it right. You know. If, I mean, what's the point of making a copy, right? You should upgrade it, or maybe downgrade it, or something, change it. The, the only change here is that it's broken. So, 1 out of 10, there is no redeeming factor for me, completely. There is nothing in this game that, that keeps me playing it. I'm deleting it in a moment. So, a warning video, and that was Brick Breaker Premium. And I'll see you guys in the next review, hopefully with something better, which shouldn't be too hard to find.